guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a video about the items that I buy for our baby on a monthly basis um, I thought this would be very fitting for my channel since I often talk about budgets and spending and things like that also very helpful for anybody who is looking to be a mom who is going to be a new mom who is interested in how much money they may be looking to spend on a child each month or anything you know in that category so I thought this would be a really cool video to share with you guys um, this is going to be all of the products that I purchased for our um, infant on a monthly basis spending only $106 a month so quick disclaimer um, these are the products that I have purchased that have worked for us throughout the first six months of her life she is now eight months. Once she hit six months, we did begin to feed her a little bit more solid food, started to buy her more snack-like items. So obviously our budget increased just a little bit, but I really noticed it in the seventh and now the eighth month that we are spending a little bit more money on her than we were before. So just so you guys know, this is probably more ideal for, um, you know, a zero to six months old. Um, also, I want to quickly mention, these are only the basic necessity items that I purchase for her each month. This does not include clothing. It does not include child care. does not include insurance um, or what else? Oh, it does not include the medical bills that we pay towards, you know, we owe medical bills. So it does not include that either. So I will give you like a quick overall of how much we spend on her each month with all of that com being combined at the end of this video but for right now I just want to get into the products of what we buy for her on a monthly basis just for her basic necessities basic survival so each month I budget $106 for her and that goes towards anything that we will need for her for that month which includes four items and that is going to be her diapers her wipes and her formula those are her basic basic needs and then I also purchase we also purchased a diaper genie so we have to buy those little liners for it so I throw in like six dollars to go towards those each month so that we're make so I make sure I have one each month so I'm going to show you what <laughs> I'm so sorry for being a little nasally I am sick um, but I'm going to show you what products and brands we use so all of these boxes are open because I did not get a chance to film this video as quickly as I wanted to and I did have to get into all of these things but these are the items that I purchased uh, at the beginning of this month which is August so the first thing I'm going to show you is the biggest and most obnoxious and that is the diapers Currently, right now, she's in a size 3. Um, these are the Parents' Choice by Walmart. This is the larger box. It says Super Value. I did purchase her the largest box possible, um, but each box throughout every size has been around $25. Um, this particular box has uh, 210 diapers in it, and this will last us for the entire month. And the size 2 diapers, I think they have um, a little bit, either a few more or a few less diapers in the box. And they're, but they were all still around $25, and they all still did last us one month. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I had several diapers that I went through when she was first born because we had a lot of diapers from her baby shower. So we tried Pampers, we tried Huggies, we tried like a Dollar General brand. Of course, we had Parents Choice, and we had, is that it? Oh, we had Loves. So my thing is with diapers. She's going to dirty them up anyway, and they're going to be thrown away, just like menstrual pads. So I want to buy her the best quality that I can while still not throwing away a lot of money on something we're literally just throwing away. So I did, when I went back to purchase our first box of diapers, once we ran out of all the ones that we were given from her baby shower, and I went back to purchase diapers, um, I think I decided on Pampers. Like That was the one that I really just kind of, or no, it might have been Loves, I don't remember, but I kind of took the brands that we had and like picked out which one I kind of preferred. And then I knew, I would heard that Loves was the cheapest out of the three of those, Pampers, Huggies, and Loves. Loves was the cheapest. So I price checked them all when I got there to shop for like our, the first bo diaper box that we bought. And the cheapest option that they had was still twice as much as the parent's choice. Um, so that would have meant that I would have been spending $50 a month just on diapers. And I really didn't want to do that. So I saw that they had this box for $25. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try that box for this first month. If we hate it. We'll just use up what we have and we'll go back to something more expensive. But we actually didn't. I didn't hate it. I really liked them. Um, I do change her every two hours. 
um, if she hasn't completely, if she hasn't really filled it up, I'll, you know, I'll go three hours or so, but generally she fills them up within a couple of hours and we'll change them that often so that she's not leaking or, uh, anything like that. Um, now she will from time to time leak, um, but she will do that even when the diaper is not full. So sometimes I'm wondering if it's maybe not just on her very well and it's just coming out of the side. I'm not really sure. Um, but I don't have a ton of leaky diapers. Um, we were actually able to keep her pretty clean when she was an infant. As far as, you know, clothing changes and stuff, we didn't have a lot of that all the time. So I, I really don't think that they were a hindrance as far as leaks or anything like that. They did keep her dry at night. Um, there have been times that we have not changed her all night long. And when we wake up in the morning, um, sometimes she'll be wet and sometimes she won't. But she'll also have like a really full, heavy diaper. So it would be obvious as to why she would be wet. I wouldn't think that that would have anything to do with brand. I don't think that have, would have more to do with the fact that we hadn't changed her all night. Um, but we, you know, we do wake up and change her throughout the night. Um, she wakes up, she was waking up about twice a night. Now she wakes up about once a night. So we will change her when we're up with her. Um, she may not look very full at the time that we're up with her in the middle of the night, but by the morning she has filled it up quite a bit. So there is an occasional leak in the morning, but it's nothing too bad. So I just wanted to kind of let you know that, know that. and obviously, um, you know, this particular item excludes <coughs> um, any babies with like any sensitivities or allergies or anything like that. She didn't have any trouble with them, so obviously I continued, I continued to purchase the cheapest one for us. So if you have a baby who is not sensitive, does not have any allergies, and who can actually wear these diapers, it may be an option for you. And this box is open as well because it's completely empty now. I actually had to get into it as well. Um, these are her wipes. So this is the Pampers brand um, sensitive kind. Um, she's not sensitive, but I actually really like this particular wipe the best as far as the texture of it. I like the feel of these particular Pampers and the quality of the material the best. Um, and the three wipes that I tried were the Parents' Choice this one we had we were given several of these at the baby shower and the other one was like just the regular pampers like the clean kind of the pampers clean or whatever they are so um, with the parents choice I did not like the texture and they felt really thick and kind of awkward to use I felt like I was more so I felt like they were wadding up in my hand more so than I was able to really clean her um, and then with the other parent, uh, the other Pampers, which was the Pampers Clean, they felt like they stretched out as I was wiping and cleaning. Like they would just stretch out and thin out, and I didn't like that either. These actually felt kind of thick and strong, and they have like a smooth surface. So I felt like these just clean her the best, and I feel like they're just the easiest for me to use. So that is why I've gone with this brand. This is a box of seven packs which is 392 individual wipes and it is $12 a month. I mean $12. So I average about $15 for this entire box. Pretty sure it's $12. I think it's like $11.92 at Walmart. So it's about $12 and I just go ahead and average $15 in my budget for this box. These seven packs of wipes do last her an entire month. So I want you to keep these numbers in mind. I don't know if you'll use more or less wipes or diapers than I am or if it's average that everyone uses the same, but um, I feel like a lot of people feel like they need tons of, like, I guess if you don't know any better, you might feel like you need tons of diapers and tons of wipes, but I just wanted to let you know that what works for us is we only need the one box a month and the seven packs of wipes a month, uh, the one box of diapers a month and the one pack and the seven packs of wipes a month and that's always worked for us that lasts us exactly the entire month we have a few left over at the end of the month so that we can get we have time to get to the store to buy um, new ones for the new month but that's always worked for us so I'm gonna quickly talk about um, these diaper genie liners because it kind of falls in line with everything else we've already discussed and um, then we can move on to the formula so this is really easy to explain. This is the Diaper Genie brand, or the Playtex Baby Diaper Genie. I have noticed that this one ring will last us about a month. I was purchasing about two at a time to make sure that I had enough on hand. Then I realized I really was only using about one of these a month, so now I only purchase one a month. And these are like $5.92, so I budget $6 for this. Um, and then if you're not aware, this uh, claims to hold up to 240 diaper diapers. 
Um, and I, I haven't counted, so I really don't know. But it, they do seem to last us a long time. Like I said, they will put this in the Diaper Genie, and it does seem to last us about a month. Maybe less, maybe more. But on average, mostly will last a month. So the last thing I want to talk about is the baby formula, and um, this is the Parents' Choice Infant Formula. We were informed by our pediatrician when she was a newborn that it did not matter which brand we used, um, you know, so long as she didn't have any sensitivities or anything to it, that what mattered the most was the particular kind of formula we had her on. Um, she responded well to the infant formula, so we didn't have any reason to change her over to sensitive or soy or anything like that, so she's been on infant ever since she was born. Just a plain infant formula. She did start off on infant mill. Um, so I just was, let's see, why did we start her on infant mill? Um, I think I was given packages. Oh, I know what it was. When I went to the women's clinic, they gave me like a little care package when I first found out I was pregnant. And it included a little uh, can of infant mill formula. So I had that and I was like, okay, I already have this. You know, I'll just keep her on infant mill. Um, we got some free samples of it in the mail while I was pregnant. And that, of course, is what they used while she was at the hospital. So I thought I'd keep her on Infamil. So, um, but of course, we did price check once we actually went shopping for formula, and it was really expensive. So we found that the that they were also telling us the pediatrician was also telling us it did not matter which brand we purchased. So we did look into you know price check some formulas while we were at Walmart, and this was obviously the cheapest one that they had. This one is nineteen dollars. Nineteen. It's, it's about $20 a month. I think it's like $19.90 something a month. Uh, a month. I keep saying a month. This is $19.90 something a box. And this is, uh, how many ounces is this? This is the 35 ounce container. When we first started purchasing our formula, they came in like the cylinder containers and it was like a really tall cylinder container that we purchased. I can't find those anymore. Now all I'm seeing are these plastic square containers. But I do feel like they're lasting us just as long. Um, and I will purchase three of these for one month. And that will last her for the entire month. Three. But that's $60 a month. So her formula is costing me only $60 a month. I think that's pretty incredible. Um, I don't know what else you may be interested in knowing about this product. But that's all I can think of to tell you. Um, so that is, that's really going to be all of the items that we do purchase for her each month. Um, in addition to those items, which is $106 a month, we do um, spend $360 on daycare. My, I have added her onto my in health insurance, and that has made my health insurance go up about $200 a month. And then um, our medical bills for the hospital stay that I had with her is $200 a month as well. So overall, we're obviously spending a lot more than the 106, but I did want to share with you what we are purchasing for her on a monthly basis. And then just just to let you know, I do not actually factor clothes into her monthly budget. Um, that more is more so not budgeted very well at all. Um, I usually just buy for her whenever I feel like she needs something, or. Um, I like to shop for her when I shop for myself. So anytime I'm out shopping for myself, I'll just go and look at the baby stuff and see if there's anything that I can find for her. And I've been able to keep her in clothes without any trouble. Um, I probably spend more money than I should, but I don't feel like with the method that I've used of kind of just buying piece by piece that I'm, she's doing without. So, anyways, um, I don't want to ramble too much about that. Um, that's going to complete this video. I did just want to share with you those items that we purchase each month for her so that maybe that will be helpful, helpful for you and maybe help you to find some things that you can purchase for your little one that will help to be more affordable for you each month. Um, that's going to complete this video. Please leave me comments below if you have any questions or suggestions. Um, I guess thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.